So you wanna get into instant photography, but you don't know which camera to buy. Well, that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Don't worry, I got you covered. Let's get into it. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. One of the biggest questions I get asked all the time, what camera should I buy? I'm just getting into this hobby and I, I'm just overwhelmed. I don't know what to buy. What's the best camera to use? But here's the one question I think people are overlooking and that is what film type should I buy or get into or start out with? That's the question that you should be asking yourself. You have to have film to shoot in the cameras. I could be talking about these great, amazing cameras, but once you go to buy that camera and you get film to load into it, that's when you decide, hey, you know what? This isn't for me. This camera is really, really good, but I don't wanna spend $20 on a pack of film that I'm only gonna get eight photos. That could be a crossroad that you are facing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly the camera film type you should start with. And that's Fuji Insects Mini Film. Yes, these are Insects Mini Cameras. And I've done full videos on all these cameras. Links can be found in the description below, except on this Minion one. I just found this one recently. I'll do a video on it eventually. I just think it's ridiculous and fun. Insects Mini is one of the most popular film types out there because of the cost. You get two packs of film, depending on where you go and buy this. I recommend going to Walmart. That tends to be where you get the best deal on mini film. And you get two packs of 10 for around 13 $14. It's the most cost effective film out there that you can buy and there's an array of cameras to choose from. Even Polaroid jumped in on the mini film back in the day. They named, this is the only camera that's branded Polaroid that I know of. If you happen to know another one, leave a comment in the description below. I want to want to find that. But this is the Mio or Mayo. I also don't know how to pronounce it. But it's a Polaroid camera that shoots Instax mini film. And any long time viewers are going to remember that this is actually my very first ever instant camera or instant film related related video I ever made here on this channel. It was on this guy back in like 2018, I think. This one's actually a sharper image camera that shoots Fuji film. Really cool. This one actually shoots your photos horizontally, not vertically like all the other cameras. Kind of unique and different. There are so many more cameras out there that shoot and utilize this film. And the reason that I tend to tell people to start here is because this isn't digital photography, once you run out of film, that's it. You gotta go buy more. It's just a pay to use type of situation. If you, want, if you want to shoot a photo, that will physically cost you money. So if you like the idea of the whole concept of instant photography, I tell people to go here because it gets your feet wet and lets you know exactly if you will like doing this for long term. If not, maybe something more casual and it won't break the bank. You get into Polaroid world, it's gonna cost you a lot more money and you get less photos. Which one's actually better though is a whole other topic and I even did a video on that recently. If you wanna check it out, again, a link will be in the description. But this stuff is great for people that wanna just try it out and you, your kids or your, your, your nephews. For me, my nephew loves to shoot instant photography. I just give him this camera and let him go crazy. Let him shoot some photos. It doesn't really matter because it's not that expensive to replace this film and you get 20 photos, it's quite a bit of photos. So it definitely is much easier on the wallet. However, the photo size is in the name, right? It's mini film. It's not really that large, but it does yield really cool images, but they're just pretty small. These aren't bad cameras by any means. They're compact, they fit in a bag very, very easily. Once you shoot a few packs of this, you're gonna know right away how serious that you are in this sort of hobby. And this might just be a great way to not have to fork out all the cash for more expensive cameras. Because the next step up from here would be the Fuji Instax Square cameras, which is this guy right here. and. It's great, it's amazing, it shoots larger photos. However, the cameras are gonna be a little bit more expensive. You can pick up an Instax mini camera for like 50, 60 bucks, or if you go on Facebook Marketplace, you can find them there pretty much all day long for like 20 bucks. These cameras, on the other hand, are gonna cost you well over $100. And why spend that much money to find out if you even like shooting instant photography? Why not spend a little bit less just to test it out? It doesn't make much sense to go blow all your money on something you don't know if you're even gonna like doing, right? So start here. 
And from here, if you like it, work your way up. There's a lot of other cool things out there. The next step up from Square would be the wide film. And that stuff is really, really fun too. And it's actually not that much more expensive on the film side of it. But again, the cameras will be a little bit more expensive than the mini cameras. So that's something you have to keep in mind. And then Polaroid's a whole other thing. That's a, we could talk about that maybe in another video, but this is really for people that are just wanting to get started and they don't know where to begin. Just don't worry about any of the other cameras right now. Focus on getting yourself a Instax mini camera. That's my best advice I can give you today. I don't know which one's like the flagship uh, Instax mini camera right now. They, they constantly are changing you know, the, the appearance of them and giving them new names, but honestly, they're really the same exact camera. There's not really much differences. I think maybe the Mini 90 is the current one. I'm not sure exactly, but I would start there. Hopefully that answers the question, which camera should I get? But again, it's more about what film type should you start with? And that's the Mini film. Hopefully this video has helped. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below. Let's chat. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Now, get out there, make some art.